Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? Um... No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I, I don't think she's I had that experience. The, vision, the light and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your what? thoughts? Oh my goodness. That must have been terrifying. No, awesome. It was awesome. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science, well, simply fails. Okay. Hmm. If there is, the artifacts are doing a heck of a job hiding it. The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Okay. Well, judging from the fact that both you and Barrett claim to have heard music, I've made the leap that the artifact was reaching out. Music composition might not consist of words and sentences, but I'll be damned if that isn't an attempt at language. Okay. Is there? <laughs> After spending years gathering data about the artifacts, You'd think I'd have all the answers. Um. Uh. Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. No, that's not it at all. Solving a mystery like this. It's an explorer's dream. Believe me, they're all as driven as I am to find an answer. Okay. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk and for keeping an open mind. Sure. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> It's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Cool. Enhance? Enhance what? How can I help you be the best you possible? Fuck off. Hi, welcome to Enhance. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I'm sure my staff and I can accommodate your every need. If you're here to try something new or on a whim, or to replicate a look you've seen and loved elsewhere, or just want to love your reflection in the mirror a little bit more, we've got you covered. All our services and records are private and confidential, okay. so no need to worry. Um. Oh, yes, of course, sure. <laughs> Enhances proprietary register technology is absolutely the best in the settled systems. Sure. There is a reason we've been the number one most trusted brand for reconstructive and plastic surgery for two decades running. Sure. Well, I'm not at liberty to disclose any of our patients' personal motivations or services. You understand of course of course but gosh it, it could be anything really something simple or a, a total reconstruction why you're here doesn't really matter to me it's just important that you're satisfied when you leave sure oh my god you certainly put things bluntly don't you uh-huh I did. Uh, no, I, I do. I, I, I take it all very seriously. What's happening? <sighs> Sorry, you, you, you just took me a little off guard. 
To tell you the truth, I made a bit of a slip up. Can I help you with that? I may have lost a data slate containing the confidential information of numerous oh, boy. patients. Little things, you know, like payment, information, procedures done, age, birthdays, mailing addresses. Mm -hmm. That's pretty oh, bad. No, who am I kidding? This is so bad. If that information gets out, my business and reputation could be destroyed. No patient will trust me again. Um. It's not. People's private information is at stake, ready to be taken right. by any bad actor that finds that damn slate. And worse, my reputation and business is on the line. Please, I'm begging you. You have to find that slate. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And let's see, I, I frequent the Terra Brew nearby, as well as Whetstone. I also stopped by the Valberg building recently. Come on, man. Thank you for doing this. You're a lifesaver. Please, come back as soon as you have the slate. Sure. Oh, and don't read anything on it. It's confidential stuff. Remember? Sure. If you'd ever like to make a change, we're up to the task. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. Where is it? Okay. This is nothing. It's not not a thing. Hi there. Welcome. Thanks for choosing Terra Brew. What can I get you? Certainly. Please take your time. Yeah, okay. Terrible manager. Will excuse me. How would I? I can't get enough of how, all the How would I find this here. though? The FC is no friend of you and me. Oh, you're not a person. Okay. Hey. Pardon me? Yes. What? Okay. Gorgeous weather today, huh? If I move back to Neon, I'd miss New Atlantis like crazy. No, I'm from Neon. If she just I said that. A couple months ago for a job at the Office of Interstellar Affairs. It's a part of Mast's administrative wing. We handle relations between the UC and the Free Star Collective. One of our main focuses is making sure the armistice stays intact. I don't think anybody wants another war. Sure. Oh, I love it. I think New Atlantis is the most beautiful place in the settled systems. I can't believe how many trees there are in the city. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Yeah, I work at Mast in the office. Okay. I help solve communication. Probably doesn't sound all that exciting to you, but I. Bye. So, I could have dropped it somewhere, but doesn't seem like he did. I mean, you're not wrong. So, the Valberg building, sure. Into the Valberg building, and where else? To Whetstone and Valberg building, okay. They're all in close proximity, so that's fine. And 
looking for a slate. Yeah, that's it. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more? No, we're good. I really appreciate your sass. It really helps. I really wish everyone valued punctuality. Hey, buddy. All of our services are designed to minimize. You found it. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I, I don't know what to say. You have helped a humble businessman. You, you saved me and my business. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much. And, oh, I, I hope this hasn't tainted your perception of my wonderful facility. No, it's fine. If you need any work done, I'll always be here. Noise. Come back anytime. That's a good amount. Yeah? Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Yes. Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Okay. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. Not in detail. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Arja? Arja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Um. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just, oh, I don't know, different times. It. Arja we're good. Was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Okay. <laughs> now that you mention it, you're probably right. Either way, we logged. Quite a few interesting discoveries together. Honestly, it wasn't so much what Arja and I discovered in our travels. It was the journey that was memorable. Sure. Hmm. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Arja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Sure. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. Sure. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend. But we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining What's in Parima 2? Come to think of it. If we're ever out that far, perhaps we oh, should not dead. Okay. Visit, and I could make proper introductions. Absolutely. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. Cool. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, <laughs> that's what intrigues me about you. Cool. I... 
I don't know if I deserve to be that close to okay. anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded. Okay. Got me I think worried. Your opinion of me might change. Please give me some time. I I I, I have to go. Okay. Not worried. What do we have? Aja? Can we visit Aja? Hmm, there's nothing here. I, I sh should talk to Sergeant Yumi, though. Where can I go? Sergeant Yumi is where? Sergeant Yumi should be somewhere around here. Okay. Okay. Let's go talk to this Yumi person. Whoop. Smoothed over that incident between Matteo and Rosa at the Sanctum? I'd hardly call it an incident, more of a debate, really. But I appreciate it just the same. Not a problem. In the meantime, maybe you could tell him to take it down a notch. Can do. Thanks again, Sergeant. Hey. Well, so, you hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Okay. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. That's not true. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave. Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? Okay. Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask, do you have any security experience at all? Um. It sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop, and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Okay. Aegis, they're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to new yeah. Atlantis before Aegis they means become shield. problems. Makes sense. While we're a separate department... There are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. Tit for tat. You know how it works. Sure. Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why, you can ask Aegis. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. Okay. You know, MAST, uh, the Military, Administrative, and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city? 
Ah. Headquarters of the entire I see. United I see. Colonies? I really should have given you a more thorough interview. Yeah. We all got friends who need things. You're going to be also rude? also got rules and regulations, and I'm not going to bend them. Your friend can file a request like everyone else. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. That's fine, dude. I've spoken to, 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 to you and me. There's no tracking here. Yeah. Okay. Let's check this out then. Is Agent Plato there? No. We need to go to Mast, right? Unless I misunderstood something. Okay, I guess I did. No, no, no. I did did everything right. Aha! No, I might have might have fucked up. Just don't don't send me back. people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis the easier my job is cool we're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies think of it this way you see security response to threats it's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them I'm the acting head of Aegis the intelligence division here in Mast I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. Um. <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym. Pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. Cool. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. And the name fits. All you really need to know is that we're here to serve and we're the good guys. Right. Our main priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies, wherever they may be. We keep an eye on, well, everything. Cool. Well, you're certainly entitled to that opinion. And there are plenty of others who share it. We'll be looking out for you just the same. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. Correct. You're taller than I expected. Thanks. Statistical average, psychological tendencies, a sergeant's need to tower over his subordinates. But really, it was just a joke. I meant nothing by it. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. Uh-huh. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. 
We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it and are using it to identify field agents. Normally, we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Well, I told the sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Nothing personal. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. Okay. Take the net to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. Okay. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. Mm. You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. What is this, your first day on the job? Fuck off. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just giving you a hard time. I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. <laughs> I, I love Good this. This, the this switch. Health and human resources. Okay. That station. Yeah, spaceport. I hope you can't. I hope you can't hear that. You probably can. It's here already. Okay. Now take it to you, me. Can you help my friend now? Still have questions? Go ahead. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. Okay. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Ha! Huh. As am I. And the best part is, since you're all part-timers, there's no paperwork. Okay. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Thank you. And you still can't help me ah, with it the... my favorite part-time security. Policy. I've got nothing at the moment, but come back later. And I might have something for you. Sure. Take care. No, no, no. Kelton. Jesus Christ. Kelton Frush, I think, is the plant guy, right? Hey, buddy. Ah, well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Yes, well, I had good reason to be distressed. You had already helped me establish that there is something unprecedented going on with this tree. Now my superiors have been made aware. That's there cool. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. Okay. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Vibrations though, weird. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. Okay. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, 
it is impossible. So what can I do? There is data regarding other younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. Hmm. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. What? No, that is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in Mast, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that Jesus. if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Sure. He's held a grudge against me for years. It's petty, really. I'm sure he thinks that doing this now will hold back my career. He wouldn't Maybe it will. When I try to explain this isn't about me. There are bigger concerns. Oh, thank you. Uh, last I knew, he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name. Yeah, in the I got it. I'm not dumb. It's amazing to think that this Oh, it's really close actually. Can you imagine all the changes it's seen? You're creepy. Mind your step. Important research happening here. Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Okay. Trees. Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. How so? There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Yeah, yeah, that's all very touching. But cathartic or not, my career would still be in flames. How so? Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Work together. Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in math. Jesus. Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Okay. Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified. Incredibly unfair. Sure. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. Is it not? There is. And I already explained exactly what it is. From where I'm standing, kind of seems like it is. Okay. If that's true, seems like a good reason to hold on to it okay. until I've got what I need. Enough. The deal is the deal. You get Kelton's stupid data when I know that the files have been wiped from the chief engineer's terminal. Sure. Just get in, access her terminal, delete the files, and get out. Really simple. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just, uh, pretty much everything in my personnel file. Most of it is fine, of course. I'm good at what I do. I just received a few very unfair reviews recently, and I figure... Why not start over completely? Hmm. Not much experience with government bureaucracy, huh? The mass network is running off hardware that is decades old. They don't upgrade anything unless it's absolutely necessary. This will just be one entry in a long list of mild annoyances that aren't worth following up on. It's kind of amazing, really. 
between you and me as little as possible. Oh, fu I fucking hate you. I'm just kidding, of course. I work really, really hard at my job. Studied in computational bioscience, did some time in agrogenetics. Uh, these days, I just help out wherever I can, waiting for a good opportunity, maybe an opening in administration. You know how it goes. Yeah, but can't I just, like, is pickpocketing not a thing in this game? I guess not. Guess we're close enough. How interesting. This is shady shit, and I don't like that I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. very long don't do anything you don't need to do can I do the opposite obsessive behavior Attempting to ambush prison of sort of matter of imminent danger. <laughs> no, I don't think I I do want to do that. Guess I have to. Not happy about it, to be honest. But I also, I also, I also purged Kelton Fresh. Kelton Fresh? Fresh and Kelt? Can't remember. I purged both records. If it isn't Kelton's little Aaron. You have some good news for me? Sure. They sure are. I took a peek on the network, saw that things have updated. Great job. Sure. You came through for me, so now I'll do the same for you. This slate has all the data Kelton needs. Hand it over to him, stuff it down his throat. Yeah, but it's all the if same. he does get the data, he'll be able to solve this problem, so he'll 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 more likely be promoted. So, I guess it's all good. It's a privilege to be able to work. Yeah, 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 shut up. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. Um You're absolutely right. I don't want to know. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later. 
particularly in a legal setting. Sure. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. I don't think it will be, but. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. Cool. Oh yeah, check in on Kelton later. I will. Um. Yeah, I think I'll maybe go visit my parents. Where do my parents live? Where's the Pioneer Tower? I'm so excited to see Tony after work. Yeah, it was the residential district. Shut up. Hey, family. Well, well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, but I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Um... Is everything all right? Yeah. Well, I'll be... I'll be... Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? No. My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Um. Well, I know what I've read about in the news. The explorers. Years ago, there was a stretch where Constellation was in fashion. People would gossip about them all the time. I, I must say it's been a while since I've heard anything about them, though. Glad to know they're still around. Cool. Oh, say again? I should record that and play it back. Mom, you were right. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Although that's how you left it. Sure. Easy, honey. Let them catch their breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Cool. That was it? That was the whole thing. Hmm. Classified as miscellaneous for some reason. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I'm planning a grocery run later. I get some things you like. No, I'm not staying. That's sweet though. Football. Ah, that's dumb. That is so cute. Anyway, 
Bye. Bye, Mom and Dad. We'll see. Secure storage, okay. Am I gonna have to do some really shady shit? Hey, buddy. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Um... Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. Is a reason you're asking? Oh, security impounded a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. Okay. So, you need something, or...? I do need something. Yeah... I can't really just let you in there. Um... I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Okay. Thank you. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. Don't tell them that. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. So you got sure. it? Sure. Sure. One sec. All right, make it quick. Please. Thank you. Watch for the engine blast, will you? They'll pull you right over. I did it though, it's done. I done there, I done there did it. Coffee shop, then I don't want to sound desperate, but any luck finding my cargo? Yeah, I have it. Hey there, friend. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Uh, oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. Yeah. You really do love your jokes. You are joking, right? Well, look, no. I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. Cool. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not not like unlimited free drinks, but you want a little pick me up now and then? I got you covered. Cool. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this 
This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Catch you later. Bye.